what's going on guys my name's ghost and today i'm gonna show you how you can install hen on any ps3 it doesn't matter if you've got the fat one the slim one the super slim one you need homebrew this is how we're gonna do it now if you do happen to have a fully jailbreakable ps3 go and watch my other video on how to install full custom firmware hen is an alternative uh, it's essentially what we're going to use for the people who can't install a full custom firmware hen is actually a hybrid style firmware so essentially you're just going to need a few things you're going to need your ps3 of course you're going to need a computer that's connected to the internet your ps3 will also need to be connected to the internet as well as a usb flash drive that's literally it so we're going to take wrap this send it over to the pc and we're gonna go ahead and get started on that and get everything downloaded i'm gonna try to keep this one shorter than my last one which was like 20 something minutes so i'll see you guys over on the pc all right guys now that we're back over here on the pc there's gonna be a couple things that we're gonna need to, uh, to pick up we're definitely gonna need to get our hybrid firmware so we'll just scroll down click where it says 4.86.1 hybrid firmware and you'll get a, a mega link right here and just go ahead and click on that it'll load up mega just click download we'll just give it a second and we're gonna need some homebrew I personally would recommend getting multi-man uh, multi-man is going to be essentially what you're going to use to play games directly from your hard drive if you wanted to play game backups and things like that um, you just it's essentially an, it's an all-in-one so we we'll just come to the first one right here go ahead and download it and then you'll need one other thing and this is actually optional this is only if you have a usb drive or a flash drive that cannot be formatted to fat 32. so you would essentially you just click on the picture it'll save it and then we're just going to take all of these and put them right here on our desktop i know it's it's messy i'll clean it up and that's it that's all you need so with that being said We'll take our hybrid firmware. We're just gonna extract it to its own little folder right here on the desktop. We don't need that zip file anymore. This will come in handy later. And this is our homebrew. So we're just gonna go into our file manager. We'll find our USB drive. For me, I'll just right click on it. Click on format. We're just gonna make sure it says FAT32. Everything else is fine. Quick formats fine and just click start. Now this is going to erase everything that is on your USB drive. So if you have anything on it that you want to keep, please, please make sure that you back it up, store it somewhere else on your computer, do whatever you need, but back it up because this is going to format and delete everything off of it. So we're just going to click. Okay. Give it a minute. Formatting's complete. We can close this out. We can reopen our file manager if we actually right click and we click on properties it'll say it right here file system is fat 32 so we're set on that now as far as our homebrew as far with this it's multi-man for you it could be anything that you want to use or anything like that we're just going to drag and drop it right into the root of the flash drive for our hybrid firmware we're going to need this file so we'll have to go into the root of the flash drive right click create a new folder name it ps3 all caps go into that folder make a new folder name it update all caps all one word go into that folder and drag and drop the hybrid firmware in there awesome now that that's done we're just going to rename it. So we want to essentially delete all of the 
the hfw and the numbers we want it to only say ps3 updat with no e dot pup and if you're not seeing the dot pup part you can come up here to view on windows you can come up here to view and check where it says file name extensions so by default it's usually left off and sometimes it won't show it now that we've got this our usb drive is set up we're good to go uh if you have a usb however that is not able to be formatted to fat 32 that's where this gui format comes in if it prompts you like it did with me you just click yes and essentially what you have is it's going to give you a drive letter so you would look in your file explorer for me let's see here for me the usb is drive letter f for you it could be g it could be h it could be whatever you whatever your usb is actually tied to so make sure you're selecting the right one because if you come up here and you click on say c which c for me happens to be my system drive and then you click format you will lose your entire pc system so please 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 make sure that you are selecting the right drive when you're doing this but since ours is already formatted it works we're good to go on that front we don't have to use that that's just an option for you guys of course links to everything will be down in the description so now we've got our usb drive set up we can just go ahead and we can safely eject it and i will see you guys back over on the ps3 awesome so now that we're back over here at the ps3 we've got our usb drive plugged in should be noticed make sure that you can actually see that your usb drive is being picked up by the ps3 we're going to go over to settings we're going to go up to system update now there's going to be one of two ways to do this and it's going to depend on whether or not it's going to allow us to do it so we're going to go to system update we're going to update via storage media and in this case we're going to have to do the long way because it says there's no applicable update data found so we're gonna have to go into safe mode so go ahead and turn your ps3 off awesome so now we're in recovery mode if you don't know how to get to recovery mode it's super simple all you do you power your system off and you hold the power button until you hear two quick beeps so essentially the first time i think it'll power on and then it powers right back off and then you hold it again and it'll power up you'll hear one beep a couple seconds goes by you hear a second beep a few more seconds will go by you'll hear two beeps in rapid succession and once you get to this screen you're in so make sure you plug in your controller hit the playstation button and this is what we're gonna actually be able to update to the hybrid firmware so we're gonna go down to system update and it says that the uh for us to connect the storage media that contains an update data version that's 4.86 or ladder we're good we just hit start and select at the same time it's gonna check and as you can see it found the update and it's gonna automatically prepare it and once this uh preparation is done we'll be set and as you guys could see it prompted it said that we had a hybrid firmware it's going to bring us into the user agreement you're more than welcome to read through all the licensing uh the warranty information everything else we're just going to go over we're going to go down to accept go down and of course it's going to prompt you do not turn off your system during the update and then hit x and it will start the installation process and we'll be right back once the install is done
Awesome. So once your update has finally installed, you will be prompted to, if you have your PS3 hooked up via HDMI, you will be prompted to reset up your actual HDMI configuration. We'll go ahead and just run with that. Wait for us to get our nice little splash screen here. And we are back up. Now we've just got a couple, just some minor, minor things to do. It's gonna be pretty, pretty simple from this point on. We're just gonna go into our internet browser. So make sure at this point you're connected to the internet. And then from here, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna hit triangle. We're gonna go to tools gonna make sure cookies are on we're also gonna make sure JavaScript's on confirm browser close is turned off and then we're gonna delete our cookies our search history our cache and authentication information so you're just gonna have to kind of once it deletes one you just hit triangle go back in and delete the next one Awesome. So once you've got that done, it's this is this is the easy part. So we're going to just press start, delete this out, and we're going to go to P S three X P L O I T dot com. So this is going to be the PS three exploit website. And just remember when you're typing this in, there is no E in exploit. We're just going to press start and wait for this to load. And now that we've got this loaded up, I just wanna do a quick little disclaimer. When you are using PIN, never, absolutely never enable factory service mode or install CC API. This will essentially brick your console, don't do it. And then at this point, we're, at the home stretch literally so we're just going to go up to ps3 hen go where it says hen installer dash enabler hit the x button wait for it to say download complete at this point we're going to hit initialize hen installer All right, now that that's over, pretty simple at this point. We'll come down here, we click install hen and let it run. We wanna go ahead and prompt and click yes on this. It's gonna close out. We should just be able to hit circle, close out the web browser. It's gonna download the latest patch. Download complete, hit back. And it says install completed. So now at this point, we're just gonna do a simple reset of the system. So we're just gonna hold down turn our system off and we'll reboot it right back up. As you can see, we kind of got a little bit of a different splash screen there. We'll just wait for this to finish loading. And there it is. We now have pin officially installed. I'm just going to come over here and, and sign out of PlayStation network, but Here's the thing with Hen. Anytime you turn off your console and turn it back on, you will have to click on enable Hen. Since we just did that, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hit X on enable Hen. It's gonna go in, it's gonna open the internet browser, but it's gonna enable it. 
now we actually have access to uh, be able to install and utilize our homebrew. So to install that homebrew that we just put on the USB drive not too long ago, we're gonna come down one to package manager, install package files, go to standard, and there's multi-man. So we're just gonna hit the X on that and wait for it to install. Now multi-man's down here. So congratulations guys, your PS3 officially now either has a full custom firmware or it has a hybrid firmware on it. You can now play game backups, play games directly off hard drives and everything else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it very informative. Uh, if you want to learn more or just talk about jailbreaking video games in general and everything, I do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If you enjoyed this type of content and you want to see more, be sure to hit the subscribe button, throw a like on it as well, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.